Julia Bold has interviewed Everton's director of football, Kevin Thelwell, for the BBC. Uh, Thelwell spoke on how he thinks Everton have a better squad this season than last. Uh, and he also spoke about Delhi and his current status. He said, we are in a good space now with Tottenham. We have an agreement with those guys about what happens next if we do sign Delhi. And he would dearly love to play for Everton in the Premier League. And we would dearly love that to happen as well. Uh, because the boy has had a very difficult time and obviously is working his way back to full fitness. The full interview is available on BBC Sounds if you want to check it out. But in terms of Delhi, obviously hasn't played football for a long time now due to injury. He got himself sort of fit last pre-season and done a gro- his groining. Eventually needed surgery on it. A lot of people thought he'd be available in pre-season. The manager sort of hinted at that and then it went away. Um I think Sean Dyche said a few weeks ago that the plan is to get him some bounce games at Finch Farm. So I'm not sure where they're up to on that. It doesn't sound like he's played in them. I'm not sure at what stage they make a decision on a contract. Quite clearly, if they do offer Delhi a new contract, it'll be way, way, way below um, his last contract and might possibly work out as something as a... It's not a pay as you play because I don't think they're not legal anymore, but possibly with a really low basic and then, you know, kickers if he is available. But we'll have to see if it ever gets to that. But Kevin Thurl will confirm that Everton have uh, discussed the whole situation with Tottenham Hotspur. Alan Myers has reported last night that a proposed deal for American businessman John Texter to take over Everton is progressing well. A deal to purchase Farhad Mashiri's shareholding is expected to be agreed very soon, and that would see Texter begin the process of putting the finances in place, acquiring Premier League approval and selling his stake in Premier League side Crystal Palace. Texter has been very vocal about his uh, his want to own Everton Football Club. But obviously, he does have the complication of the shares in Crystal Palace. Um, we do understand he is speaking to the Premier League regarding that. And obviously, Alan Myers tweeting that or you know putting that out last night is indication that the, uh, the story is moving towards a conclusion. We did have earlier in the week the report that the freaking group is still interested. That's something we've said all summer here on Toffee TV. They hadn't gone anywhere. They were still assessing um, the situation and are still learning. Of course, they have got £200 million in the football club at the moment. Um, So it's interesting to see whether they make a play for this late on as well. Everton women have completed two new signings ahead of their season opener against Brighton tomorrow. They have signed goalkeeper Riley Foster on a short-term contract and they've also signed midfielder Lauren Thomas also on a short-term deal. We wish them all the best as they open the Premier League season tomorrow. That's it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Check out Ped's starting 11 video for the trip to Leicester City if you haven't seen that one. See if you'd agree with the team he picks. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.